we have one last chance for you to win a brand new Toyota, plus some helpful tips to keep your furry friends safe this Halloween. We're gonna tell you all about that and so much more right here on Pets on Parade. Good morning and welcome to Pets on Parade, brought to you by 3TV. I'm Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. Thank you so much for tuning in with us this Saturday. Now, of course, our show is always cute, but this is our Halloween edition of Pets on Parade, so it is going to be even more so with pets in costumes. And before we dive into the cuteness, what nicknames do you have for pit bulls? At AHS, our top nicknames are Pibbles. Hippos, wiggle monsters, land seals, and of course, pitties. Whatever you call them, these lovable dogs have big personalities and big hearts to match. There are just a few days left to adopt a pity one year and older for zero dollars. Show your love for the breed during National Pit Bull Awareness Month and adopt a new best friend today. See all of the amazing pitties who are searching for a home at azhumane.org slash adopt. And from being rescued to cared for in a foster hero home, making a big TV debut, and then finding a forever home, we are always so happy to see our sweet babies doing so well. We're going to tell you all about this little one in just a bit. Is it a puppy? Is it a spider? We'll find out. And if you're a fan of sunglasses, then you'll definitely go, you're definitely going to like Oakley. And speaking of sunglasses, we had a huge donation recently, thanks to a great partners of ours, right, Janine? Yes, it was WMP Eyewear. They donated over $13,000 worth of pet supplies. That was, we were so shocked. That was such a wonderful gift for us, for our sick, injured, abused animals. And animal lovers around the valley really do come together and try to help out our animals. So I just wanted to real quickly tell you about Oakley here, which is perfect for the whole eyeglass situation. And he is, a 13 weeks old, soft as butter. Oh my gosh, his fur is beautiful. He's really, he's a little on the shy side, but he loves to have pets and he purrs. So I think he's gonna be more on the mellow type of kitten. So if you want something that will spend hours on Sundays watching Netflix with you, this is your little boy. He's got these beautiful fur, look at this markings. And of course, you know, I had to be a kitty because I'm like addicted to kittens myself. But, uh, and I just love him. He's just the best. But if you do want some eyeglasses, go to WMP because they have a great selection and they're animal lovers on top of it. Absolutely, we could not save the lives of pets that we see each and every Saturday without great partners like that. So thank you so much for Janine, for that Janine. And before we learn about this little one story, I just have to show off the adorable picture our incredible photo team got of this duo. While his brother still needs a bit more time until ready for adoption, this little one can't wait for a forever home, Linda. And how many legs do you like? <laughs> 20 legs over there, what's going on? Underneath this vicious costume is little tiny Jed. <laughs> he's a tarantula for Halloween and look at the size. He's so tiny, he's so cute. He's 16 weeks old and he came into us, actually was abandoned at the shelter at South Mountain with his brother. And uh, so here he is today. He did come in with some malnutrition, uh, some long toenails, which is incredibly painful for these little guys. And here he is though, he's so sweet and gentle. I mean, he's he's wearing this costume like no, no problem at all. He's just just all chilled out and hanging out. And he um, possibly has been a little bit of potty trained, not completely, so he will have to be house trained. I was told that he was also crate trained and that could be the problem with the potty training because if you don't properly crate train your dog, you can have problems when they come out of their kennel or their crate and have little problems with you know potty because they, they're so small they can't hold their bladder. So consider going on, <laughs> oh my goodness. So consider going online. We have a wonderful little video with Danae, our her, uh, dog trainer, and she talks about um, crate training and behaviors and, and making it very rewarding, make their, their crate a very comfortable and loving place for them where they can eat and sleep and feel like they're at home. 
When they come out, of course, the training on the outside is just as important. So take a look at little Jed here. He's 16 weeks old. He says, Happy Halloween. Get in my cab. Let's go home. Let's take a drive and go home. Hey, let's Jed. get out of here, yeah. all right? He needs let's a forever go. home. Come on, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for that. And we love to see our adoptees living their best lives. Hank was fostered by the Ferreira family back in March, and it wasn't long before his temporary home became a permanent one. This foster fail now lives a life of adventure. His mom tells us he camps, hikes, paddle boards, and steals my bed. Thank you for bringing this sweet boy into our family. We love him so much. Hank's family was super curious about his breed and the results from his DNA test are in. This adorable boy's top detected breeds include American Pitbull, Chow Chow, Golden Retriever, American Stafford Shirt Terrier, and Boxer. <laughs> all of that in one cute little body. We are so happy he found his forever home. And depending on if you're a Western fan or if you're familiar with the area of Wyoming, then you'll depend on, it's gonna depend on how you relate to this next cutie. But either way, Bree, I think you heard that he's rooting on a particular team in the World Series coming up. What do you think? Sweet little Laramie here. Oh my goodness, I've been holding him on his back like a little baby and he's just loved it. He's a little nervous, but he has been so trustworthy and sweet. He got voted to have the uh, cutest nose in the shelter and I think you can tell why. What a little sweetheart, but yes, he is dressed up as an MVP because he's cheering on those Diamondbacks. We are so proud of our hometown team. But uh, come down and meet him. He came into us with a horrible kitty cold, which meant the little sweet nose was all stuffed and there was eye crusties. But now he's happy and healthy and ready to be on your team. Right now, it's last call for our uh, special raffle prize for the uh, Toyota RAV4. This is a great way for us to raise money, plus you can win a car. I mean, you can't really beat that. And it's a car that you can get your pets around in. Tickets go for one for $20 or three for 50. And it, all proceeds go to help support the Humane Society. Absolutely, it is an incredible raffle where you're not only helping pets, but you have the chance to help your family out in a great way. So thank you so much for that, Bree. And speaking of uh, cars, it's a bit of a road trip because we're going from Laramie all the way to Juneau. And oh my goodness, Lisa, we are so in love with this little bumblebee. Look at this two-year-old Malamute, and he's got a gorgeous coat. Um, we, do, we have seen a lot of Huskies lately, but we don't see a lot of these Malamutes. Look at this long, luscious coat and this fluffy tail. Here, buddy, show him your face. Good boy. So he um, came in some, with some wounds. It looks like he's got a little extra smile and a little bit of wounds on his front legs you can see there that are healing. He was found as a stray with the right around the edges of his mouth there you can see that that's healing and we've got a medical release for that and um, he has been doing great and as happy as happy can be to be at the shelter to get the great medical care from our second chance animal trauma hospital so some halloween pet safety tips because it's that time of the year it's candy so watch out we all know we have our pets that are counter surfers especially big ones like this guy make sure that they don't get chocolate Watch out for any decorations you might have. They might find themselves hiding in there or be scared of things. Cats are always attracted to any sort of tinsel or anything like that. So watch anything new around Halloween. We're all busy with the kids and getting everybody outside and trick-or-treating. So just make sure that if you put your dog in a costume that it's comfortable. As you can see, he's rolling around trying to get his costume off. So maybe just take a photo or two in the costume and make sure nothing you've got is too scary or scaring your pets. So judge your pet. Make sure that you don't put them in a situation that they will be scared when the front door opens from all the Halloween kiddos. So Juno here will be getting his costume off and waiting for somebody to give him that happy forever family. Oh my goodness, he is ready to fly away, I think, as we see the wings uh, transport throughout his, right. uh, his whole body. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Lisa. And don't change that channel. We have plenty of adorable pets who need your help, including Longtimer Bryce. We'll tell you all about him after the break.
Welcome back to Pets on Prey. Now, as you can imagine, some of our pets spend a little bit longer with us due to any medical or behavioral care. So our team really gets to know them and know their quirks and their personalities. And when they're finally ready for the adoption floor, it makes us wonder how they're not finding their forever home quicker than they are. Pets like adorable Bryce. Bryce's signature smile is sure to brighten any dog lover's day. This handsome tan and white smooth collie mix is a playful dog who is just waiting to meet his new best friend. Bryce can be a little shy when he meets someone new, but just give this boy a scratch behind his ears and you'll have a loyal friend for life. He would love to find someone who will take him on long walks and spoil him with lots of fun dog toys. And like most collies, Bryce is an extremely smart dog. He's picked up some basic training during his time at AHS and our amazing volunteers have even managed to teach him how to use some of the agility equipment in our doggy play yards. You can meet Bryce at our, at our South Mountain campus and see his agility skills in person or learn more at azhumane.org slash adopt. And okay, it is time to meet an adorable pet who is in need of care, but I don't know which one is the pet here. Are you looking for a forever home, Carrie? Is it is it the little terrier here? Because you're an adorable little care bear and I think we're gonna take you home after this. You know, every now and then, Kelsey, we do have a special care bear that is going to need <laughs> some foster love. But today we have Misty. And Misty is a beautiful, sweet terrier mix. This girl was taken by by a good Samaritan to one of our emergency animal clinics after being hit by a car and she has head trauma. And Kelsey, you know, when you have your noggin rung quite a bit, you know, there's nothing better than to just have some love and relaxation in a loving home. And that's what we're looking for for Misty. She's definitely been out on the streets for a while, can use a good bath, which will make sure to get her before she goes up for adoption. But she really could benefit from your loving home. As a foster hero, we'll provide all the supplies you need, the medical care, um, the medications. You know, we provide it all. We just truly ask our community to open up their home if they have a space to help these sick and injured animals. It's so rewarding to be able to take a pet in for a couple weeks and see them blossom and grow and heal and then be able to come back to AHS to find their forever home. So you you can visit azhumane.org slash foster. Our team is there to support you. We'll find a perfect fit for your family. We have about 30 dogs right now that need homes, including many dogs with kennel cough. And we do have our kitty friends as well. So look us up and we hope to hear from you soon. Absolutely. The quicker we can get them out of the shelter and into the home, the quicker they can heal. Thank you so much for that, pink ladies. <laughs> And don't change that channel. We're keeping the road trip going here. We're going to introduce you to Cody after the break. Welcome back to Pets on Parade. Now, don't worry, the set is not under construction, but if anything does fall out of place, Perry is here for you. And Perry, you know what? We don't advocate owning big cats at AHS, but I think we have a little compromise here with this one. What do you think? Yeah, Kelsey, I think this is going to be a Pets on Parade first. We have a cheetah on the show today. <laughs> and this little one right here, okay, not a cheetah. This is a little bunny, a year and a half old female and she came to us through some hoarding-like conditions. We've been dealing with this sort of a situation for quite a while now. Rap is coming in in large, large quantities from hoarding-like conditions. This is one of them. Came in, went to uh, Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital, was checked out then uh, because of the RHDB2 virus, had to send her to quarantine where she lived a great life, a great foster. And I think we've mentioned females actually have to be in foster for up to six months. So guess what? This little one actually gave birth in the foster home to a little one, became very, very bonded with that little one. And so now that little one's going to have another six month foster also. The little cheetah here uh, was actually a little chomping on a little carrot here a little second ago. And I think she's had enough. She says, no more carrots for me. She's on a diet. You know, we attend a lot of events and uh, we're going to be doing one on November the 4th. This is the Copper Rain Vendor Market. Uh, it's a great event. We're going to have some adoptables there, so it's definitely going to benefit the Arizona Humane Society. But in addition to that, all of the proceeds from the Copper Rain Vendor Market 
are going to go to a boy battling cancer. And you see his picture right there. So it's a very, very worthwhile event. We hope you go. We hope you donate some money. We hope you check out some animals and maybe you'll come home with a furry friend. Go to azumaine.org slash events. And by the way, if you need any high tension line work, uh, you know, <laughs> drilling of any sort of uh, ditches or something like that, I do that on the side. So. Oh, perfect. You know, I have some projects at my house that might need some help. So I'll make sure to hire okay. you, for you that, for that. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could stick to a carrot diet. And I think whoever fostered this litter of kitties must have had an affinity for Wyoming. And they have done an absolutely amazing job with them, Denise. Yes, this is Cody, Wyoming. <laughs> and he came to the Arizona Humane Society with his siblings who you saw earlier in the show. And you're right, Kelsey, his foster family named them all after cities or towns in Wyoming. So they must be a Wyoming fan. It is so important to stay up to date with your pets, vaccines, and vet appointments. And the Arizona Humane Society is committed to helping people do just that through our mobile clinic. We are hosting a mobile clinic event on the 30th of this month, but appointments are required and fill up quickly. So visit our website at azhumane.org events for more information or to make an appointment. Now, Cody is 13 weeks old, and he is so friendly. He has not stopped purring the entire time in the studio today, and he has a lot of energy. I think he's probably going to want to run a 10K, maybe a 15K half marathon, or even a marathon around your house. So if you are looking for a fun, energetic, purring kitty, although I say he's energetic, but right now he's laying, he's enjoying his pets, but trust me, he is... He is going to keep you on your toes and he's going to want to run. He is going to want to play with a lot of different toys in your home and have a big cat tower that he can climb. Visit 13, uh, 13 week old Cody if you are looking for a running marathon kitten. He is looking great if he was 13 years old. 13 yes. weeks <laughs> is even better. And we want to give a huge thank you and congratulations to AHS volunteer Edie, who has donated more than 600 hours of walking dogs at our South Mountain campus since 2018. She also treats long-timer dogs to the occasional field trip to a local dog-friendly store or park, and they never, never without a stop at the drive-thru for a pup cup. Of course, Edie's dedication to her childhood dog, Soda, is just as strong as her dedication to to AHS alum, Lily. We're seeing all of both of them there. And we are so thankful for amazing volunteers like Edie and the more than 1,700 people who donate their time each and every day. And now our next adorable pup shares a name with one of my grandmas. I mean, Peggy's just happened to be absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful ladies, I think. What do you think, Linda? Yes. Well, we went from 12-legged tarantula to a three-legged beautiful Peggy. <laughs> she uh, obviously has uh, three limbs, and she was found as a wounded stray, unfortunately, and her leg was really in bad shape. We tried to save it, but the veterinarians felt that it was just not worth it anymore because it was just going to cause her too much problems in the future. So here she is today, and she is very, very friendly. And she's actually quite the kisser, too. I got a bunch of kisses when I brought her in here. Come here. Um, so if you lose your pet, like this was a, a lost stray and she was injured, go to azhumane.org slash lost pet. We have a lot of resources and we also work with Maricopa County Care and Control and they have like a tracking system that you can look at your, uh, look on the internet and possibly check your pet and find your pet. And uh, there's another little kiss I just got. Um, so training is a good thing too. And you know, these dogs with three legs, they really don't they're not hindered at all. They haven't even realized that they're missing a limb. I mean, they can, they can get around just as easy as four-legged. So keep, consider that. Um, the one thing, though, is if you have stairs, you might want to kind of reconsider, or a swimming pool, make sure there's a fence around it so they don't fall in and get hurt. And oh, she's looking at Kelsey. <laughs> She's like, like, what the heck? What the I look like costumes? a kitty. I look like a kitty over here. <laughs> Again, so get in my care. Let's take this dog for a drive and bring it home. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, yes. And you know what? I think you're gonna be just as quick with the three legs versus the cat. Yeah. <laughs> and now our next cutie has come from a situation that we unfortunately are seeing an increase of. Janine, Bree, we definitely wanna help keep pets in their loving home in any way possible, right? Yes, um, little Pepito, he's five years old, little Chihuahua mix. And he was, an, it was an owner surrender because they lost their home. But he is a doll. I mean, he's a little on the shy side, so we're, we're not quite sure about strangers. And he hasn't really been around other dogs. But he's very friendly with cats, doesn't go after them. He's easy going that way. He's crate trained, so he's had used to spend the night during in the every day basically in his crate so that's a nice little plus and if you zoom in close he has these little feet that look like little grinch feet <laughs> so here you know we're, we're coming up on the holidays so he's got these little feet but he's just he's just a little on the shy side so just make sure you you're patient with him and he does have a medical disclosure for luxating patellas that means they're little um kneecaps go out of in and out of place so it's my own dog has it a lot of times supplements will help with that but it's kind of a small dog thing but it doesn't really hurt them in the long run and our goal is always to make sure that a pet is able to stay in their home as best we can so we like to work with those pet owners to make sure that they have the resources they need to be able to stay with their pet um, right now we're seeing an influx of uh, pets being surrendered because of the rents getting higher, uh, pet rent getting higher, and situations in their family where they're just not able to keep them anymore. Um, but uh, we've got great resources, and if you visit, Kelsey's going to have to help me with the, it's <laughs> pet housing, pet housing help, AZ .org. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Absolutely, and there are some great resources on there, and thank you so much, ladies, for reminding everyone out there that there is help. And we absolutely love our special needs babies at AHS, and you're in for a treat with this little one. We're gonna tell you all about her, so don't change that channel. And welcome back to Pets on Parade. Now, I'm not too sure if this little one is named after a city in Wyoming or not, but perhaps he's named after a beloved cartoon character, but regardless, you know what, I think that cauldron needs to go home with that kitty. Well, we had a cheetah on the show. Why not have a coyote on the show, too? <laughs> Little Wiley Coyote right here. Came in uh, with siblings as strays. Uh, the deadly kitty cold happened. The upper respiratory infections occur, which is very, very common with kittens of all ages, particularly coming in in the situation this one came in as. Went off to her second chance animal trauma hospital where we treated her. She's 13 weeks old, by the way. We treated her for the upper respiratory. And here she is right now sitting in a little cauldron. Look at her. She's all ready for Halloween. Is that an adorable picture or what? So she's uh, just a really, really sweet kitty. She's really pretty, like a smoky gray, uh, just an adorable kitten. I'm gonna double down a little bit on what Bree talked about, which is our Toyota special, because this is your last chance, by the way. You can get a Toyota RAV4. This is an a spectacular automobile. This is one of those rare occasions like uh, we, we do with our 50-50 raffle where you're donating money. You can feel great about that. But boy, what you can get back in return, you can get back over a thousand fold of what your donation is if you win this vehicle. It's like, as Bree mentioned, it's one ticket for $20, three for 50. Go for it. Like I said, you never know. You might win and you might donate money to the Arizona Humane Society and get back uh, an automobile for your family. Go to our website, azumaine.org slash Toyota, and read all about it. If I could win a brand new Toyota, I would be all over that. It is an absolutely incredible, incredible thing, thanks to Valley Toyota dealers. And you know what? Uh, Wiley's ready to go hop in that Toyota right now, so <laughs> let's go. And one of our amazing volunteers who helps behind the scenes, Daryl, who's not here today, definitely has a soft spot for pugs, and we can all see why. Oh my goodness, I've heard adorable little snorts ever since she's been down there, Denise. <laughs> This is Sandy Girl, and she is five years old, and she was found as an injured stray. So she spent some time 
in our Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital getting treated for various injuries. Um, she did have to have one of her eyes removed. Her other eye is fine. Um, she does have some conjunctivitis, which may, may rear its head later in life. She may need to have some eye drops. So you want to stay in touch with your veterinarian about her treatments. She is a wonderful, calm, sweet pug, and she is all pug. Let me tell you, she has the breathing thing. I haven't heard her sleep, but I can guarantee you she snores a lot. If you are looking for a sweet, adorable pug, Sandy Girl is the one for you. Absolutely, and just as a reminder, you only have a few days left, not just for the Toyota raffle, but also for the $0 pity adoptions for all of our lovable blockheads that are one year and older. So make sure to visit azhumane.org slash adopt. Have a wonderful and safe Halloween. We will see you next week right here on Pets on Parade.